Hello and welcome to this week's video featuring Tom's Tools and yours truly, Mike Wade. Let's get the disclaimers out of the way. Stock and options trading has large potential rewards, but also large potential risks. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the stock and options market. Don't trade money you can't afford to lose because you can actually lose money in the market, as you know. I am also not an investment advisor, and please don't construe anything that I'm about to share with you as investment advice. All prices are in U.S. dollars. Unless noted otherwise, feel free to pause the recording and read the balance of the disclaimer if you wish. All right, so in this video, I want to talk about Tom's Movers. It's a ranker that goes out and finds the biggest movers in the market. And the reason I'm doing it in this, this week is because the markets are actually breaking down. And what I want to do is find the stocks that are breaking down even more so than the market. So what we're going to be doing is searching for Tom's biggest seven-day movers and then I want to show you how to determine the correlation with the overall market, in this case the SPY or the S&P 500. And then I want to show you how to find a way to find the best probability calls and puts. So again, the reason that I'm timing this video with this ranker is because of what you see here in this chart of the SPY. You can see that over the last two weeks, the SPY, the S&P 500, has broken down beneath its 50-day moving average, which is this purple line. And then within a couple of days later, it had broken down beneath its 200-day moving average. The brown line has uh, come up a bit. And then today, as I record this on October the 23rd, the markets have gapped down quite a bit and are well beneath the 200-day moving average, constituting in many people's minds a bearish market. It's certainly a market that is correcting. So what I want to do in this video is figure out which stocks are breaking down the most in the market that's breaking down and that leads us to Tom's Movers Rankers. To access the ranker you go to Stocks, Stock Rankers and then Tom's Movers. Alright so this is a really simple scan. It's powerful but very simple. There's really not much for you to change in the ranker. Uh, you can see some wizard criteria over here. I would just leave those the same. There's a, uh, a place to correlate to a particular market. We're going to be using the S&P 500 and we're going to be looking for seven day movers. So uh, what, what stocks do you use? I'm going to recommend that you use the default, which is penny and weekly stock list. These are, a, this is a list of Tom's preferred stocks that have really tight bid ass spreads and even some weekly options contained within them. It's really a good list. You may even choose if you wish to select the S&P 500. That's also an option. But for this, I would say just use the, the default penny and weekly stock list. Once you're ready to go, hit the search button. This is what I do. I come in and I click the search button. I don't change anything and really there's no so either until you get more advanced. And then what comes back is a list of stocks that are moving the most. Uh, in this case, we have the SPY. This is ranked by correlation with the SPY. And of course, the SPY is 100% correlated, which means uh, we have a one in this column. And we can also pull up the stock chart and as well as a, 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 another version of the stock chart called Mover. I can also sort, given that we're in a bearish market, what I want to do is sort and find the stocks that are dropping the most. So I click the heading stock seven days percent change two times. And then what that's going to do for me is give me a list of the stocks that are breaking down the most. So take a look at Valero Energy, Bristol Myers, Roku, all of these are dropping down a lot. Uh, Activision, Blizzard, uh, all over 10% drops in this market. These are high, high uh, probability stocks to continue dropping. You can also see their very high correlation with the S&P 500. So this is an excellent list of stocks. You may choose to just go right into these stock option uh, uh, tables and buy out of the money puts 60 to 90 days. Uh, you could do that. I'm going to quickly show you uh, another tool that, that I like a lot. And uh, what I want to do is take this top 50 of these big moving stocks to the downside. I'm going to click replace and I'll pop those into a, a list called my stock list. And then from there, I can go into searchers and look at single strategies. I can look at uh, uh, married puts or covered calls. I can do calls and puts. And this is one that you'll take, you may want to take a look at. I'll cover this in the next video, but I like Double Finder. I want to find the, the uh, this stocks whose options double the fastest. 
So imagine being able to figure out the stocks that are dropping the most in this bearish market and find the ones that will double the fastest amongst those. So you can do that really easily with this ranker. I'm going to go to uh, select my, my stock list, which contains the top 50 droppers. And then I'm going to click highest probability of touch puts. And then I'm going to click search. Again, I'll come back and cover this in the next video in more detail. But just to get started, you may wish to use the highest probability of touching a percent to double with puts. And you'll get a nice list here in just a second that will give you some really, uh, really nice bearish trades. Notice that uh, BMY, Bristol Myers, has a probability of touching percent to double at 46%, which is really, really high. Even if it doesn't double, 46% uh, you know, would be a double, but it doesn't even have to double to make the trade worthwhile. So that's something you may choose to play around with, but certainly you can take the list as it is and start to profit in this bearish market to the downside. Again, the idea is to find the weakest stocks in a weak market, and I've just shown you one way to do that. So in summary, really there's nothing much to do. Uh, you may choose to change the penny and weekly stock list within Tom's Movers Ranker, and then you click the search button, and from there you may choose to take the top 50 maybe and pop them into percent to double ranker, or simply just buy an out of the money call or put, in this case, in this video, puts is what we've been using. Uh, use 60 to 90 day options to expiration, then exit a double or a 50% loss, and uh, you'll do quite well in this bearish market. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for being with me, and I'll see you next week.